Hey everybody, welcome to a Brit Pop Shack. You're me and BP1. Now you know we like a good house tour on here. We've been looking at different house tours around the US, uh, and this one literally popped out a couple of days ago uh, from the channel Chris Loves Julia. And it looks like Julia is going to show us around her house in fall uh, 2024. So we obviously call fall autumn in the UK. Now, Lots of uh, burgundies, ambers, the leaves changing on the, uh, those are the sorts of colours. Um, so it's interesting to see not just a house tour, but a house tour in full. I mean, I don't know how many of you actually change the decoration in your house for the seasons. I can't say we do. We do have the odd, you know, pumpkin flying about or uh, embroidered pumpkins and stuff like that they come out mainly in my daughter's room but nowhere really else in the house so we do some stuff for halloween but yeah actually changing the look and feel of your house for the for the season is not something we do so i saw it and i thought this is interesting it's not just a house tour but it's a full house tour so uh let's get straight into it we'll talk about it as we go um let's see what it's all about hey everyone welcome to our fall hey. house tour how many pumpkins was that on the doorstep? Is that what it was? I think it was. Okay. Our house really shines in fall, and so I thought I'd show oh, you. Oh, how much do you change it? Um, let's see. Might as well start in the study. Oh my this god. Is our home office. <laughs> but it feels like Look at that. So lux, so we call it the study. But nice. Really little pumpkin candle. Every day. Is that crickets that's on it's this not even chair wallpaper, dog, is it? Which is why there's dog hair all over it. Um but this is a pretty magical place to Look work. The colour of those leaves. We did this mural in here because Yeah, mural, that's it, it yeah. Um, makes it so we don't have to hang any additional That's art. unbelievable. Can, but we don't have to, and I think that helps my mind Look kind the of The colour of the green, that dark green. To just have a really peaceful atmosphere. It really helps me stay focused. I would never be brave enough um, to paint anything that colour. Nice study, though. Give her that. We have our powder bathroom in here. You are. Fun fact, this was actually the powder first bathroom. room that we worked on and I love working on a little tiny jewel box room to start because I think What's it helps set the tone for the room? whole house. And I remember when we were doing this room, there was a lot of like, okay, lots of brown. What the heck are you doing? What the heck? <laughs> and it's still one of my most favorite rooms in the whole house. BP2, I love, I love the What the heck? I love the wallpaper and antique mirror. Interesting, and the yeah. The toilet seat. And this is just a downstairs bathroom. The floor, we actually repeated it upstairs in our daughter's bathroom inverse. And so this was a really fun DIY project. To I mean, attention out. to detail, fair um, play. Our I mean, bedroom is on the first floor. Oh, interesting. This happens a lot, doesn't it, in the US? It bedroom's is on the first floor. Our absolute sanctuary. Oh, wow. Again, we kind of did a similar thing in here with the walls. We added this. Um, it's nice, but that bed doesn't look long enough for me. My feet, I mean, I'm six foot two, three. BP2, if you're watching. Uh, my feet would be hanging out at the end of that, and it wouldn't be comfy because it's got a, a ridge on it. But I do like this in, in uh, America. There's a lot of panelling. Uh, interesting what's behind. I suppose she's going to talk about the art in a sec. But what a lovely room. Love. I like the, the floor to ceiling um windows we don't tend to have that in most british houses to be honest and certainly not in bedrooms uh, our windows obviously normally start around four foot three and a half foot off the ground um normally we've got a radiator because it's a bloody cold over here all the time so yeah we don't normally tend to see those types of windows but then you know this is a this is a big old house i haven't actually seen it from the front we've just seen it from the front door but Anyway, let's keep going. Trim on the walls and that trim, helped us okay. Call it trim. not feel Call like we had panel. to hang a whole bunch of things on the walls, which again yeah, cool. creates a really peaceful yeah, atmosphere. Are so, enormous. This is an original painting from Caleb Mahoney and um, my side, Chris's side, my chair, 
Chris's chair. <laughs> Fair play. Uh, we actually sit mirror. here a lot and chat. Um, it just feels like so much conversation happens right here. A lot of really? decisions are made right here. We have Fair not enough. done our bathroom yet, but I'll that. kind of give you a sneak peek. Now this is like before, before his and her closets. They're nice. a his mess, but I'll turn the light on so you can at least peek in. Um, and then our bathroom. Now, Jordan, the cameraman, is going to have a hard time. I mean, fair play because, because there's lots. There are mirrors on almost nice every size. surface. Um, above you, in front of you, to the side of you, behind you. And there's mirrors everywhere. Um, and Blimey. so I'm yeah, really yeah. excited to tackle this bathroom. We're working with um, Gene Stouffer. Okay, so they're going to get it redone. I was going to say, it doesn't look quite awesome. in context so, of the rest of the house. Really soon. Still nice. That's what we're looking forward to the most. Okay. Nice, yeah, yeah. Off of nice. the bed, um, bedroom is our living room. Okay. And oh, nice. I guess you could say this is our formal living room, but honestly, we formal hang out living room. so much. It doesn't feel formal at all. I guess the only formal thing about it is it doesn't have a TV, which a lot of people think that's, you know, makes it formal. Doesn't, but makes our TV's it upstairs. So How many candles that. are out For there? Fall, I brought in. I wanted to do something kind of always moody, romantic. Um, these candles can feel like interesting. A little... What I, what the the one thing I've noticed um, with this sort of style is unified, obviously with the candles, but all the candlesticks are different. Same with the sofas, I noticed that all the sofas are a totally different style, but keeping the same unity of colours, um, but different, you know, different furniture, as, as in different styles, and it, and it works, um, basically, probably because of the colour scheme. Look at me sounding like I know what I'm talking about, when really I would just love to stay in a house like that. Uh, my house is absolutely nowhere near anything like this um, so it's great to see it from a house tour point of view and from a full point of view it feels a bit adam's family doesn't it with the candles up there but at the same time it gives that warm tony vibe but it was honestly the easiest thing and cost me zero because for better you rated for your worse, drawers probably I had all of these candlesticks <laughs> so yeah I, I can imagine them all out for um fall and i just love the romantic vibes that they bring so this is our Fair living enough. room we entertain a lot and so nice lights. having Pumpkins seating basically everywhere. around the whole room really helps us maximize how many people we can sit in here um this is our dining room the ceilings are incredibly high we, as well um just got these chairs and they have made dinner parties and just every night so much cozier. The only thing I, I don't like, like is the wallpaper. We family longer and the conversations can last a little longer but, because yeah, we're enjoying a nice sitting around table. the table now. We do eat family dinner every night here. And Come I on, you've got a comment you, on the... Oh, um, a lot of people ask me about family photos. I know a lot of people say like, oh, family photos. They're so tacky. I don't know who says that or who thinks that, but we have a family photo wall here from a yeah, lot it's of pretty cool. of our girls. So many people have it on digital only Chris, now, don't they? And it's something that I'm constantly adding on to. I actually have more frames coming right now. And um, it's a great conversation piece for a dining room. And then on the other wall here, I have an there. original painting by Courtney um, Garrett. See, I find this funny with these paintings because is that a pa is that a painting? I mean, maybe I'm being, you know, this is what I don't get necessarily with art, and it's probably. I don't know, and I, I would class myself pretty good at art, but uh, yeah, for me, I mean, it has a certain tone to it, and it has a certain light, you know, the lightness to it, but I don't know, I'm not sure, I, I prefer art to be, you know, th th there'll be more to it, but um, 
maybe maybe it works there because it's it is simple against quite a leery um wallpaper and this was just delivered this year and i'm gonna that's why it's not framed yet and doesn't have picture light but that's coming the kitchen uh, or the dining room opens up to the kitchen okay big long galley and kitchen this is honestly like the hub of the house um you know chris cooks dinner oh, here wow. every Look at night that. two lines we either cook side the cooker three meals a day almost Holy every shit. day um i have a lot of dietary restrictions and so we don't eat out a ton and it's also fine there's six stools this is a 17 foot island and there's six stools it's wider than my kitchen along it and a lot of times <laughs> when we have guests over they'll watch chris cook a bit while he's like finishing up dinner and just chat and it's almost like a chef's table experience. wow you're a very lucky um, lady as far as fall goes i think sure you worked hard for it. i cut these hydrangeas from our garden which was really fun and i just think the best thing about kitchen decor is that you can decorate your kitchen with things that you actually will use and um eat so how could you pears, get through that many apples and then um i put a few glass pumpkins up here in our little witch's hats um and then over here is one of my i favorite mean certainly go to town kitchen. with the detail full um this is like our kitchen bookcase Chris has a ton of cookbooks, and so I knew we wanted like a bookcase in our kitchen, but it's also been amazing to have. Yeah, that's, I'm like, what? I'm a maid. Look, I mean, great, that looks great. But the ladder, I mean, that's over the top, right? I mean, she can reach that for that top, but unless, unless there's more up that I can't see off the screen, so there might well be but if it's just that top shelf i mean i'll be looking directly in the top shelf surely you don't need a ladder for that that's more aesthetic isn't it anyway let's keep going have just a spot for extra serveware um Look seasonal the mugs and stuff. things come out seasonal and mugs. then bowls, they're cool cakes, actually things, again, quite like them ghost mugs we're actually going to use cake stands so that is the kitchen. I guess we can go right up here. There's two staircases in the house. Very two. sitcom. Um, we'll go up the front staircase. Two staircases. Two Holy little girls' smoke. bedrooms. All right. And here we have Polly's room. Another mural. Um, she's our youngest. And Polly's room always feels like spring. Look how immaculate so that even bed is. It's October. It's april in here and, oh i see yeah um bunny lamp this is just the most poly room there ever was she's so bright and happy all the time and then the through shows. this i'll tell you what the attention to detail is unbelievable isn't it? it's really really Our middle it's almost too daughter's perfect room this is faye's room well i'm not sure i like um, this one her and i actually designed this room together she loves interior design and the goal of this room is to pack in as many patterns as possible. I was going to say, I don't like, like patterns. She loves blue and green. And I'm, so quite, I'm quite simplistic, me, with the colours. patterns in here. Patterns just clash like, like man. I adding more. And I, I mean, if you're into patterns, you'd love it. here for her. And then a photograph of us decorated or dressed up as Wizard of Oz. Since that is kind of also the secondary view of her room, of these Fair prints play. over here I thought it was the are actual actually cast. from the original Wizard of Oz book, which oh, wow, she okay. has, and I just framed them all. We picked a few not spooky ones and framed them for her room, so she loves the Wizard of Oz. Out here is kind of a little puzzle area. We have some puzzles in games, area. record player. This is also where the girls sometimes do their homework, crafts. Um, this is a lovely area, new isn't it? Area At the top of the, the stair. In that it used to have our piano here and some chairs, but we felt like we needed an area, especially with the holidays coming up, for puzzling, games, and 
homework. Um, and this Again, you've got like the subtle really good pumpkins and And so oftentimes when I'm trying to flowers. make a decision about transitioning the function of a space, I let it kind of sit for a couple months and try it out. And then if the girls seem to be using it a lot, then we can, we'll add like cabinetry and everything in here to officially make it that wow. function. And then down the hall is our oldest daughter's room. We are upstairs again, yeah? We are currently working on, and it's shaping up to be oh my God, these one are of huge. my favorite rooms in the house. Um, it, we, this is our wallpaper line, and I love the blue that we accented it with. Um, I'm testing out a few curtain colors right now. So that's I mean, coming up next. But it's interesting. This is I mean, it's really, quite regal, really isn't it? Fun room that again just naturally feels like fall. Fall in here. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I this little that. hallway used to not exist. This used to right. go right into her bathroom, but we have moved a laundry room up here, and so we converted. Yeah, a see, long I mean that's a good idea. How many laundry room? which has been so nice. Um, this is a really neutral oh, room. Man, look at that. But I love it. We added it's an antique armoire in here for- the, um, they, They've got some serious money. To serve money. as a place to hold all of our oh, bed linens. Oh, come on. That's too perfect. You want to look at mine. This week, and so I have them categorized by size, king, queens, oh, and twins. Except now I really we don't oh, have cool. any twin beds. Um, we just have pools, and so I can get rid of my twin bed sheets, I guess. It's like too perfect, isn't um, it? That's the laundry room. That's and then a nice shade, around, isn't it? We have Greta's bathroom. Again, I mentioned downstairs we did that floor in that very first powder room we did. Yeah, yeah, and up yeah, here yeah. you can see we did the inverse. And so that was kind of the jumping off point for this bathroom. Um, Interesting. Another fun thing that shower, we did that. is Chris tile the all the walls, and you'll see the box trim around. So a lot of elements that you see elsewhere in the house, the box trim, the floor tile, I mean, even this like you know, there's a light dark, to light um, up the picture in the bathroom. I mean, that it's with just incredible. kind of neutrals is a theme in the house. Fun fact, this vanity, I ordered one and it was not the right color. And so I ordered a different one. We always get a lot of comments about what this staircase is and it just leads up to our attic. It is unfinished, but I'm happy to show you and only you if you want to see it. Why it's not? also not temperature regulated. So I'm sweating already. But this oh is my the attic. God. It's so a lot organized. Of our seasonal decor is up here. We have a rug line, so we always have oh a lot God. of rugs up here. And I, I wish swap I had out an attic like that. Lot, so. Look at it. Nothing too exciting. For, stand, for a start, you can stand up without smacking your head. It, to be honest, but you never. Look, she really doesn't want to be up there, doesn't want to spend that much time up there. But I tell you what, look at how organized that is. See that? I mean that. I mean my attic. You know we've got we got stuff in boxes, right? But like most people, I'm clambering over stuff. There's beams everywhere. I've got one little tiny light up there in the corner. Um, I mean, for a start, I haven't got that much stuff in the attic. I mean, it's yeah. This this house is obviously they've obviously done very well for themselves. Um, fair play spent a lot of money on their house to make it their i guess american dream real estate as we as i've heard it being called um so yeah i mean it, it is immaculate some of the patterning i'm not sure is my thing um but uh they've certainly done a great job of of the house and and fall you know how do you make that like summery and spring and stuff like that it'd be interesting to see line so we always have you know. a lot of rugs up here let's go back down okay this is our bonus room bonus Such a room. Fun room to decorate for fall 
and you don't have to do much. Just a little pumpkin pillow. We recently pumpkin moved pillow, our yeah. piano up here and it well, gets this is quite a, nice room, a lot actually. more because it's kind of in this hangout setting. And then also you can't hear it as much when I'm downstairs working, which is also a plus. I added some fall stems, a little crow here. Crow. I love these wicker pumpkins I got, I think, two Look years pumpkins. ago. Look at the ghost in the I picture. I still have yet to get window <laughs> um, seat cushions in here, but it is on my to-do list. I love updating our frame TV. So this is our TV room. We call it the bonus room. Um, TV. Gather here for family movie night every Friday. And I love like just updating the art on the TV for Oh, I October. see. Yes, it's changing. Um, this is usually Chris's chair right here. This is a vintage Ralph Lauren writer's chair. And a fun thing about the screen TV, Four. the newer version, Ralph which I guess chair. I got it probably two years ago, it's completely matte. And so you can actually watch the TV from right here and um, there's no glare, which is kind of cool. Um, over here, I kind of Unreal. always forget to mention this. This oh, is just um, the of the back. when we moved Hi, here exactly. and we were first doing this room, there was still some school happening at home due to covid and so we created this little desk area for the girls and now if they have any computer work they can work on it here they end up playing a lot more computer games i mean than home fair play they thought about it a lot it's great that it's still in this family setting thought about it a lot and then we added some lockers here and this is still where they keep extra oh, bags right. of theirs or extra jackets that aren't in our mudroom downstairs and i'll show you that Love in just roof. a minute okay i'll i'll give you our wow, biggest dirtiest window. monica closet secret we added this um it's called a jib door and it's a door that's oh. naturally hidden into the wall and this is our storage closet one day it's going to be my wrapping paper room but for now oh, wow more storage <laughs> And no one has to see it that. <clears throat> yeah, there's always the room um, that nobody's allowed. Down here oh my is God, our playroom. Just keeps this going. is a room that we've not oh done yet. Oh my God, it's and, huge. Um, so keep that in mind. But it's a lovely large space that has so much <laughs> potential. Um, it's even it got one of those baskets. There's thing. toys everywhere. There's basketball. Big sectional here that we got in an outlet. Um, the restoration hardware outlet for an absolute steal. That's one and scary I love there in the corner. For, at an outlet because I don't feel so precious about it. Um, the it's girls play video games. Rainbow. This TV is more for video games, and that TV is more for family movie night and things. Although since we got these, oh my god, LED so lights around the TV, was it seventy-five? They react to whatever's on the screen. So yeah. we did watch it's Philips here. Hugh. I'd like to get that. Um, a couple of weeks no ago. Chance. And the whole wall. It was like watching a movie on the entire wall. It was so cool. Um, over here is just a little powder bathroom. Look at the size of it. Powder um, bathroom again. This is definitely just my it color of the year. This like burgundy. I tried this um, Roman clay in here this year and it turned out really nice. Um, we'll see what happens to this room. I had that sort of color in here, but it made it too dark space. over Let me over take here. you down the back staircase. We haven't got that, like I say, the windows so and lightens it all up. get bearings where we are. Another staircase, as, as you do. All right. So when you come down the back staircase, Oops. we are in the back hallway. And this leads okay. to some garage doors and then our mudroom, which we just finished. Mudroom. Barely. This and happens quite a lot, doesn't it? it mudroom. Is a Take small, your dirty shoes off. But tall room. So each of the girls have wow. their own locker. They can hang locker. up their backpack, jackets. They have a little basket for schoolwork that they want to keep track of, a drawer for oh my shoes. God. That's Thought lined. About everything. Um, and each of them have their own locker. And then Chris and I have a locker on this side. And our dog, Cricket, 
Is this also where she sleeps? And she has stick the dog in the mud here. room. We added a little um, pot filler for her, so we can easily give her some fresh water oh my all God. day long. I've never seen and that in my life. With a tap storage. for the dog. So, wow. That's the mud room. And let me just show you how this connects to the rest of the house. Doesn't it feel so fall in here? Everything just feels so fall. Yes. So that's if you come out of the back cool. hallway, you're in kind of the main living area, the kitchen, oh, dining room. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have our pool still open, so you can come oh. out and peek at that. We swim probably every month out of the year here. Every month? Oh my God, it's got fountains going into it. Oh my so God, how nice that's is that? Our house around fall. We're ready to entertain. Julia. And um, our girls will be home in just a minute. Where's my family minutes, so. invite? <laughs> Gotta get the after school snack ready. Well, fair play. Fair play. What a lovely house. Um, yeah. I mean, the attention to detail is is incredible a lot of hard effort work and effort's gone into making that house as it is and it's not easy you know what it's like you know to earn good money you've got to work hard and it's a rat race of life right you're you're, you're here there you're everywhere um and to have the time to to get things like this sorted and done two young kids as well i mean wow i mean that's it's it's it's, it's not i suppose it's a lot easier when you've got a big bank balance but at the same time we all know our life how tough life is um so yeah fair play i mean lovely house lovely lovely house uh in full as well so you know looking at all that with I, i'd love to know how you decorate do you you know do you decorate like that do you get like the autumn flowers out have you got loads of sort of pumpkin-y wicker baskets witches hats and stuff like that um I, I really like the ghost cups. I thought they were cool um, to bring out and, and really embrace the season. I think we don't, you know, we, we, we really do get the seasons here in, in Britain. That's one thing we really do, um, you know, more than, you know, other parts of the globe because of where we are, you know, that, that those changes in the seasons are pretty fundamental. But we don't embrace it as such. We just sort of go, oh, you know, it's autumn and we have our Halloween, which we we got from you guys in the States. And, and that's about it. That is autumn for us, Halloween. Then it moves swiftly into winter. So, yeah, interesting. But thanks, Julia, uh, for showing everybody around your house. Beautiful home. Uh, I loved it. I thought it was really nice. Let me know in the comments what you think. Um, I've no idea where it is. I've got So don't ask me that. I'm not sure. Uh, I literally just found this today, so I don't know too much about um, their channel or anything like that. So interesting, um, and hopefully, you know, check some more of their stuff out. All right, uh, thanks you so much. Where's my button? There it is. For joining me at Britpop to React today. Uh, we'll be back tomorrow or a bit later on uh, with another reaction from me and BP2. Until then, goodbye from me. Cheers.